Greetings YouTubers, Charles Edgar Hampton here going to share yet another project that I've done on my attic. Um, we all have those passive attic vents, the brown ones or black ones depending on how faded or whatever. The ones that just let the hot air gradually go out of the top of your attic. What I've done is I took some computer case fans. Let me unplug this. You can see. I've taken some very large computer case fans, wired them all together in parallel. All right, and I've attached them. One of them just burned out. That's why I'm back up here. So, and attached them, screwed them in, very short screws, okay? There's not very much plywood between here and there. So let's go up there and look. All right, so I'm up here just so you can see how thick the wood is that's on your roof. It's not that thick. So I just used some three quarter inch screws, sorry about that, to secure the fans up there. I had six, so I put in six. Um, that one the furthest part away from my main fan that I've already installed earlier. Anyway, um, of course just spliced them on in there together. Notice that just in case there is a leak, I have the high, the connection at the highest point. Moving on forward, they are pumping or pushing air out. So anyway, just wired those up. They all band together here. Go to the main connect here, where they all come together with the DC cord from the power supply. One moment. Power supply is hooked into another fan to keep it cool. Power supply then runs on down here. So it goes through and through and through to this. Alright. Thermostat switch. Like I said, same one that's on the other. Way it works. Um, this new power supply has a ground. The other one didn't. And that's fine. If you are using, well, when you use a power supply cord, please note the wiring color. Brown is going to be your hot. The blue is going to be your neutral. Green and a stripe is going to be your ground. Alright, so folks, remember the higher temperatures were over here, lower temperatures over here. This is a cooling off switch, which means... The higher I turn it, then it's not, it thinks, hey, okay, as long as the temperature, you're basically setting actually a minimum here. So you flip it down like this, you say, hey, I wanted to get 50 degrees in this sucker, which is never going to happen at this point. In Georgia, the power supply needs to stay cool. Spliced all in. Banding together and dispersing to the six fans. One thing that I had to do is make sure there was enough power. Um, I'll take a picture of this separately. I wanted to share a quick and dirty electrical lesson with you. If you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fans at 0.7 amps a piece each drawing your 12 volts of DC current then you're gonna have 0.7 times 7 which is 4.9 amps as far as total being drawn from this PSU that's why I've had a 6 amp power supply because I wanted to make sure that I had more than enough power if you want to look at it the proper way then you would know that volts times amperage equals watts it is a 72 watt power supply if you take your seven fans, which are at 0.7 amps apiece, then you have your 12 volts, then you're going to get 8.4 watts per fan. Once you multiply the 8.4 watts times your seven fans, and you get 58.8 watts, which again, however you want to calculate it, you've got more than enough. So, I wanted to be clear, never, ever, ever use an underpowered 
or a lower amperage or low wattage power supply to power or run your electrical equipment. If you try this on a computer, the computer won't boot up because it'll realize it's an unsafe situation and or it's just not enough to get over the hump of starting up. A great way to test if you have an underpowered computer is to plug up a cell phone or something that charges via a USB port. Plug it up first, then try to boot your computer up. If you can't boot your computer up with your cell phone plugged in, then you have a problem. Chances are, not even chances are, your computer is underpowered and you need to look into getting and installing or, and or upgrading your power supply. Looking at everything the way that it was with this whole angle iron crap, I decided to remount the power supply. That just looks something awful. And although I'm not going to be selling this house for a while, now that I'm married, my wife gets me to think more about the way things look in presentation. So, uh, did I bring it up here? So I had this spare piece of wood around. Working on stuff like I always am. You always have spare pieces of wood. And basically, I'm going to use this, make some cuts to it, and create a shelf. So again, had this spare piece of plywood. Um, I'm going to use this as a shelf. So that's what I'm going to do. This old one was for the laptop power supply. Those, of course, don't have any cooling. If you remember, I used to have a fan there over it, and uh, that's just obsolete now at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this down. I have two uh, metal hinges, and I can just reposition everything the way I want it to and uh, make it look good without a lot of work. So let's get this down. doing right now is eyeballing exactly how trapezoidal this is. All right, so got my uh, simple shelf up there, and now what I need to do is put a couple of screws up there, and uh, that'll be it. And we'll set that thing on top, reposition our thermostat, and we're good to go.
So my friends, what we again have done, taken some very large computer case fans, wired them all up in parallel, ran the wires on down, spliced them all together. Power comes from this here old PC power supply that I had on an old machine. And I'm going to replug everything up. Of course, it's not going to come on because it's very cool right now. Best time to do work in your attic. And let's double check everything is good to go. Very good. This fan is on. That fan is on. On, 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 on. And, uh, baby sweetie down there, I just can assume is on. So I oil these and grease them every year. It's not too difficult. If you want to see that process, just take a look. Here's the old one that was up on the power supply. So anyway, all you do, pull the label off. And you see that it's all the grease and stuff from it leaked out of this one but if you pop this out this little rubber gasket see there that's where the bearing is you put some grease down there put some oil down there replace that little grommet gasket whatever you want to call it and you put the sticker back and you're back in business. So, Charles Edgar Hampton, on behalf of the Variety Tube channel, showing you some more uses for your old power supplies from your old computers, as well as cheap fans. Uh, these were on Amazon, about 15 bucks a piece. And they are large. They're probably about um, 7 inches in diameter or so. So anyway, God bless and peace. Stay cool.